final stage. The remaining competitors are pacing anxious for the race to begin. Only a few minutes left. Who will win this big event? Jet is standing there like, are you love hogs done? Why are you smiling at? I don't understand why Amy changed into her normal outfit. I guess she got eliminated. It obviously wasn't due to your skills. <laughs> I won't lose now. All right, bet your emeralds. <laughs> Get ready. It's time for the final race to begin. All right, finish in first place and defeat Jet. And here's our fifth stage. Sand Ruins. Hello everybody, SuperMe84 here, and welcome back to Sonic Riders on the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we did Egg Factory and Green Cave with Knuckles and Tails. Now, this is where it starts to get tough because the AI feels like they're on handicap because of how fast they can catch up to you. Um, when grinding, you have to hold A and B together. Otherwise, if you attempt to grind on the rail without holding anything, you're not going to pull it off. You're just going to clip through the rail and fall. The ramp can be sometimes difficult. I don't know why. But anyway. Uh, if you're on this part of the track, you can do tricks on the ledge. But it's not necessary unless you want to get more air. These pillars will pop up if the first player passes by them. And more of them will pop up in the next two laps. Lap 2, 55-20. I forgot to mention about ranks. So, there are a total of 7 ranks. C, B, A, double A, S, double S, and X. C is your lowest, and X is your highest. If you perform 5 or more tricks, you'll get an X rank. If you do 1 trick, you'll get a B rank. And if you fail a trick, you'll get a C rank. A if you perform three tricks, the others double A, S, and double S if you perform four tricks. Okay, final lap, 52.91. Now, I personally don't like sand and desert stages, whether it's in a Mario game or a Sonic game or whatever, because I find them boring and not fun. And sometimes they can be long, but here in this game, they actually made a sand stage that's actually fun and challenging at the same time. Now, I wouldn't say Sand Ruins is my favorite stage in this game, but it can be fun sometimes. Yeah, I wasn't going to bother getting the 100 rings because our hoverboard is already on level 3. And you can see all of the pillars pop up. Now, in this race, we don't even know what's our record time or our fastest lap. Because you know why? Because once we're, we're almost reached the finish line, it goes to cutscene. I'm gonna win, Jet! I'm gonna win! Haha! No. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now, unlike something unexpected that can happen. But you know what they say? Always expect the unexpected! Ah! Wow! What a sabotage! And would you look at that everyone, Sonic is knocked out. Who wants to call the paramedics and pay his medical bills?
Ha! The dirt suits you so well. You're stuck with being second place, loser. Ugh! So you see here, Jed is holding the cube with three fingers, like a Rubik's cube. But once we get into the CGI cutscene, the cube is bigger and he's holding it with all of his fingers and on the palm of his hand. Look at his little moped. He's like, I'm out of here. I gotta go to the bathroom. I ate too much quesaritos from Taco Bell. What is it? It's a new gear I prepped up just in case something like this happened. Thinking of head tails? Thanks. you what true speed really is all right defeat jet once and for all and here's our sixth and final stage of the hero story babylon garden now this is the only stage you don't get to hear on my channel commentating and we're using the new extreme gear the blue star 2 yeah that's what it's called although i actually like this one than the blue star one because it looks like they were trying to be creative with it than the blue star one because the blue star one design looks bland so in this stage you need to know everything what you learn from the start because if you don't then you're in trouble because this is considered to be an expert stage and it's not easy getting in first place on your first try because this track has tight turns and there's not much barriers that are going to save you from falling so you need to be careful all right we got on this turbulence first now this turbulence will let you perform tricks once we get into the second and third lap we gotta rotate the control stick to refuel our air while we're on this aircraft there are going to be times where these aircraft are going to fire missiles from above but in this stage they only fire the missiles only in the first lap they don't fire it on the second or third lap yeah like right there okay we got a hundred rings so that way we can stay ahead of the pack and the air won't catch up to us. Not even Jet won't catch up to us. If you have a speed character in the stage, you always want to get on this ramp and grind on this rail so that you can refill your air on your hoverboard. So you can see 
We can now do tricks on this turbulence, but we're only going to do one in this lab. Uh, there is a way to get to that upper part of the track. You have to get behind an opponent that has air turbulence on his or her hoverboard and perform a trick. Yeah, I'm not going to risk going on the ramp because I don't want to fall and lose all my rings. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Alright, that three. 56 or 6. So, Babylon Garden is actually one of my favorite tracks in this game. Because you're obviously like racing on a floating temple in the middle of a storm. And it's kind of challenging, especially when you're trying to pull the fastest lap either in a race or time attack. I will say though, the music sounds like a game of like sudden death. Or like the final game of a tournament where everything comes down to the wire, like whoever wins the game is crown champion and the other goes home defeated and dejected. Now this doesn't happen very often, but I don't know why the camera turns to the side and it can mess up your controls. And, and some of those things that I did there, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to go to the pits or didn't even mean to ram into the wall. But whatever. And that was actually unexpected. I thought I was going to land on the bottom part of the track. But whatever. We're done. Alright, let's end this. without wings, I can still fly! Right? Ugh. Where are you, Eggman? <laughs> Look before you move! Darn! <laughs> now then! Just be a good hedgehog and stay still. Now! Can you catch the wind? What? Where are you? I'm here! Hey, catch! B what? Hmm, I lost! So don't play games with me! I don't want your pity, nor do I need it! What? Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it! Treasure is treasure. Ah, uh, I think it's time to leave now. Tails? Yeah. Sonic! Amy? How could you dive into Eggman knowing I was there? Well, Amy, I thought it'd be okay with you and, uh... <laughs> When you forgot to get her Chipotle. Sonic, I won't forgive you this time. <laughs> you dumb messed up now, Sonic. Alright, that is it for Sonic Riders Hero Story. But we're not done yet. I won't be giving my thoughts about the game. I'll do that when we finish the Babylon story. Yeah, I'm just going to skip the credits on this one. Yeah, when you finish the hero story, you unlock a uh, mission mode, unlock some extreme gears, and unlock uh, three characters such as Cream the Rabbit, Roots the Bat, and Shadow the Hedgehog. And also unlock some CGI cutscenes that you can rewatch in the extras menu. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time, where we'll begin the Babylon story.